Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for joining me today. In today's video, I just wanted to go through a quick review of this automatic inking fountain pen that I found on Amazon. Just kind of random, showed up in my search feed. And I hadn't seen one of these before. I, I saw another review on uh, YouTube, but it was for a different brand. They function pretty much the same, but they just looked a little bit uh, different. But this is the Abit Automatic Inking Fountain Pen. And this was only $26 on Amazon. It came in a nice box. And on the side, it says, Write New Future. And let's see what it says here. 55 degree polished spherical nib, a 3D non-slip grip, large ink tank, and smooth writing. And on the back, it says, a beat again automatic ink and fountain pen set it's a model j60 made in china and that's it so pretty nice box um here's the instructions uh, pretty easy to use i will say and it comes with uh, this bottle of ink it's just a basic black ink and it does say here, this was on, this sticker here was on the barrel here. And it just says, do not unscrew the barrel to fill the ink. It, um, it uses this, this entry system right here. This is a little hole here that it uses. And you just stick it down in here. I'm going to show you in a sec. But this pen is very similar to my Lamy Vista. And that it does use a, like, well, I guess like all Lamy's, it uses a similar grip section. So there's that grip section, that famous Lamy grip section. And I took my Vista nib off just to see if it will fit. And I'll show you that in a sec. But you can see it's very similar to the, to the Vista, except for the filling system. There is no converter or cartridge that you can use on this. So I'm going to show you how to fill it. I tried to write as much as I could to get some of the ink out, but I think it's empty enough that you can see. So this is a bottle of ink, very simple labeling here, nothing fancy. And you can see how much ink is in here on the side. And you have this cap here you unscrew. The one thing I was worried about is that I wouldn't be able to fill up this bottle uh, they do somewhere they sell a a filling mechanism that you can use but you really don't need that because it just unscrews here so you can fill up with any color ink that you want and you can see there's a little needle like system right there and your ink is in here i'm just going to screw that back down and what it, it uses a needle there's a needle right here. I don't know if you can see that. So to fill it, all I do is take the cap off. I'm not sure if you can fill it with the cap on. I've only done it with the cap off because the picture showed with the cap off. So you just stick it down in here. And all you do is just press down on this and it fills. So I made the mistake of pressing too quickly. You're supposed to hold it down. Maybe I need to read the instructions really quickly. But I think you're supposed to delay something here. Yeah, you're supposed to depress the orange button and hold it for three seconds and then allow it to retract and then suck up the ink. So you're supposed to hold it, one, two, three and then let it back up and the good thing about this is that it's it's clean so there's no ink on my fingers which is a good thing so the clip is a nice clip springy not tight at all very usable 
And at the top finial, there's some writing there, but I don't know what it means. And this is a fine nib. It's a pretty nice nib. I haven't had any issues with it. It uh, feels very nice. I was thinking when I saw it, I was like, oh, I can probably put a limey nib on that one if it, you know, if it's not good, but it's been pretty good. The beat. What is it called again? The beat. Automatic inking fountain pen. And this is a fine steel and the ink is just the beet black it's just the basic black but it's a pretty nice black it's your basic basic black so so wetness very firm nib just like the vista i won't even try to get any line weight variation you can see that it re really writes very nicely. The Lamy Vista, I really love um, that nib. This one, it's, it's pretty good as well. Not as good as the Lamy Vista nib. But it's good enough that I don't feel a need to, to change it at all. Has very nice feedback. Just smooth enough. Very nice. And this was um, Amazon. Again. And I think it was $26.99 if I'm not mistaken. And it, comes with every, everything that you need so I'm going to show you now how well the Vista nib and they they're so much alike that they you can actually use the Vista cap on the beat but I'm going to show you now how the Lamy nib fits and I'll say that it's not a great fit but it does it does work Pull this off. And so this this Vista nib is also a fine. So I love my fines. Now the thing is, is that you can see it fits, but it's not a snug fit. It's, it's not a snug fit because I can just take it right off. making a mess I can just this comes right off so if you wanted one of these but you wanted to use a lamy nib I think all you really have to do is crimp this very gently so you don't break the feed just crimp it a tiny bit right there and right there so that it um, it's a little bit tighter but it does work as is but for me, I would just rather have a bit of a, a little bit more of a snug fit. But it does work. And this Lamy Vista nib is, is one of my favorite nibs. But they do kind of feel very similar. They feel very similar in the writing experience as well as in the grip, you know, the grip section. So the nib and the grip feel pretty much the same to me. So um, that's the pretty much all I had to say about the a beat. Very interesting filling system. I think the only negative I will have to say it's not really a negative. It's it's this not very good ink capacity. So it depends on how much you plan on writing with it. But because the filling system is just so easy, it's just a matter of pushing down and and releasing it that it's uh, no big deal that you don't have very much of ink capacity most of the ink capacity is down here near the feed and right there but up here 
you just have this little thin section right here. So I guess it's equivalent to a cartridge maybe. But I haven't had any issues with hard starting or or anything like that. Um, I thought it was going to be a you know piece of junk, but I am pleasantly surprised and um, happy that I that I ran across this novelty item. But thank you for joining me. So I hope this was helpful. If you run across this and you're interested in giving it a try. I think it's uh, good for $26.99 and you get a whole bottle of ink as well as a, a decent pen. So that's a, really all I had to say about this. Thank you for joining me and until next time, everyone take care.